So you're thinking about switching to Linux Mint 17.2, but you're not really sure which desktop environment to go with, whether it's Mate or Cinnamon. So in this episode, we're going to have a look at the Cinnamon desktop environment, what it has going for it and why you might want to choose it over top of Mate or Mate, Mate, the other one that's based off the older stuff. Okay, so this is the Cinnamon desktop. Uh, it's based on a fork of GNOME 3 that launched oh, back probably 2011. And uh, basically what they wanted to do is give it a lot more customization than what was available with GNOME 3 and GNOME Shell. So here we are with Cinnamon and nowadays it is a very mature operating system and it's a very mature desktop environment. There is a lot of great performance and great tweaks that they have made over time uh, to really have rounded this desktop uh, environment out. Uh, in terms of functionality, speed, memory management, all that sort of thing, uh, it does quite efficiently nowadays. So I guess if you want the too long didn't watch version of this video, it's going to revolve a lot around customization. And what I mean by customization is configuring the desktop to look and function exactly how you want it to, including all of the glanceable information that you might need, uh, desktop widgets, um, applets on the task panel, all of those things are possible and, uh, and are almost encouraged in Linux Mint. So the first thing we're going to do is dive into the system settings uh, because it's one unified system settings for all of the settings whether it's personal or uh, or whether it's like system level stuff like drivers and uh, your software sources and managing your hardware and things like that so you can see that first up having this uh, system settings panel with all of the settings under the one roof and including filtered search so if I'm wanting to change my background for example and I can just start filtering in those uh, start filtering in those words and it will give me the relevant uh, option of what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to focus on is this section here, preferences, because these are the areas that are custom to Linux Mint that you can't really get this kind of uh, detailed execution of a desktop operating system uh, on, on any other desktop environment. So first of all, let's have a look at applets. Um, so applets are little tools that enable a little bit of extra functionality on the desktop panel down here at the bottom. So you can add them and remove them uh, and basically give yourself a few more options when it comes to uh, what you can see and what you can quickly access on your desktop panel. For example here, we've got slideshow control. So if you have a background desktop slideshow going on your, uh, on your wallpaper, then adding those controls down here will add, basically will add a little control to be able to go next background, background settings, etc. Basically the Cinnamon desktop strikes a very nice middle ground between uh, the KDE Plasma desktop that gives you a bunch of widgets and options and something a little bit lighter like uh, like GNOME 3 or like XFCE in terms of it's, very, it's much more flat and uh, it's a little bit better performing as well. Same can be said for desklets. There are bunches of desklets available online that give you some fantastic options when it comes to glanceable information like your weather for example. So if I say install or update selected items, it's going to download and install the AccuWeather desklet uh, for this particular desktop. Um, so basically you've got a bunch of different desklets here to choose from inc including quotes of the day and clock towers and all sorts of stuff. Uh, and basically once you download these from the system settings, you don't have to go to any, for any external website, uh, they'll be available to use inside your installed desklets. Then all you have to do is say add it to the desktop and it will bring it in. And as you can see, now I've got a weather widget uh, that lets me know what the weather is. So it really has a lot of options that it presents you out of the box without giving you, uh, without directing you to external websites. It's all managed through the Cinnamon system settings. So again, desktop, We've seen a lot of this sort of functionality in the Mate desktop as well. If you haven't checked out those videos, there's links below to both the Linux Mint 17.2 Mate review and also to the uh, Linux Mint 17.2 first impressions video that I did just discussing some of the differences that it has, uh, some of the options that it gives you compared to Windows 10. Uh, so as you can see also extensions is something that Cinnamon is good at too. Uh, think of it as kind of like your uh, simple options to enable a lot of fancy window management. So whether you want wobbly windows or desktop cube, a lot of uh, Linux diehards will really appreciate uh, some of the options that it gives you here to enable these uh, little tweaks when it comes to 
managing uh, and I guess navigating around your desktop and the windows that you have open. Hot corners are again something that is really useful if you're going to be working over multiple desktops a lot. You can queue up these hot corners to, um, to pretty much show whatever you just so desire uh, and hover enabled whether the icon's visible or not, uh, it's entirely up to you. Notifications is the last thing I want to touch on in this area as the notification center on the right hand side of Linux Mint is uh, available here from the bottom of the panel. So when a notification pops up, it will come up here up in the top and you can see I can display a test one and that's kind of what it looks like when a notification comes in, whether it's uh, email or a chat or so forth and so on. Uh, that's what it will come up as and then it will stack up down the bottom here in a little notification center where it can show you all of the notifications that have been available uh, or that have been sent to you over the last period of time. So uh, really helpful and that's one thing that Cinnamon does have uh, over its Mate or Mate competition. So at the end of the day the Cinnamon the Cinnamon desktop on Linux Mint 17.2 borrows a lot from the GNOME heritage, but nowadays it is fully its own beast. It's, it stands fully independent from GNOME. It can do its own thing. It's got all of its backends all sorted out, and it is very self-sufficient in terms of a desktop environment. Uh, what I love about Linux Mint Cinnamon is the fact that it has so much more uh, nuanced customization than what is available on a lot of other desktops, yet you don't get the bloat and you don't get the uh, the graphic requirements that you do for uh, the KDE Plasma desktops. So if any of this makes sense to you, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But if you don't really know what I'm talking about, then basically it's just a good balance between a lightweight desktop, but something that gives you plenty of options and lets you have quite a bit of fun with your system. So the question of the day guys is what is your favorite feature of Cinnamon as a desktop environment? Cinnamon is pretty widespread nowadays. You can get it on nearly every Linux distro out there. Let me know what you guys think about Cinnamon and what your favorite feature is in the comment section below. As always, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I will see you in the next video. With all that said and done, peace out ladies and gentlemen.